Oh my god, what just Ow, happened? Ow, whatever that was just landed on my knee. What's up? <laughs> it's uh, Wednesday, so I had my surgery on Monday. I was very out. I barely remember Monday. Just bits and pieces. How's it going, Aunt? Just one step at a time. Are you getting in the car? I made it down the steps. You made it down the steps. Yeah, man. <sighs> Good? Yeah. Good? Here, Let's take do this. this. It's recording. Here, Is just... it the right way? Yes. <laughs> I made it to the car. Hey. Hey, why are you upset? Come on. We got it. It's day three. It's Wednesday. I had my surgery on Monday. Made it to the car. It's the furthest I've gone. I'm finally starting to feel the pain. Past two days, I really haven't felt much because of the. They put this like nerve blocker in my knee, whatever that means. It like made me not even feel my leg for the past couple days, but now I'm starting to feel it. A little overwhelmed, but not really. I know like. It's hard because you wrestle with this thought like, oh, this is gonna be such a long road. You gotta just take it one thing at a time, one day at a time, one step at a time, one crutch at a time. I'm headed to physical therapy right now. I don't think I'm gonna do much. I think they're just gonna like rebandage my knee and maybe bend it. I have no idea what's gonna happen. We're gonna find out though. I'm just scared because they're gonna unwrap my leg. What's that gonna be like? Uh, let's go see what this physical therapy is all about. GoPro, stop recording. All right, I gotta get Anthony out of the car here. Okay, coming out. Give me your leg. These good old coat hangers. They great handles. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're here. We're here. They want a PT, baby. They want a PT. All right, you good? Yeah. And then you're gonna go to the cabinet in the rip. So we're in here in this little room, the eval room, laying on this Doing table. Doing the eval. I got my leg off the table. <laughs> so this is my patella tendon where they took a chunk from. Here's your kneecap. Here's the ACL that's already torn. So this thing feels good. Got day one down. It's a little uh, overwhelming. It's gonna be a really, really long road, but I got my leg lifted. I did some stimulation and just gotta get through this. It's gonna be emotional and I gotta feel every part of it. It did will you pass. Start, did you start crying a little? I did cry a little. It's just a lot, but hey, gotta keep moving forward. One crutch at a time. I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely a little discouraged. It's hard hearing like how long this is gonna be and the whole the battle of this journey is like trying to take it one second at a time because when you start thinking ahead, it's like it's really overwhelming. But gotta keep moving forward, people. Just gotta keep going. I mean, they were moving my leg around, I bent it. Some things were good, I don't know about others. Physical therapy is gonna be a lot. Probably won't see results as quick as I want. Trust in the process and have the keep the faith. And anyone going through difficult times or whatever, injuries, anything you're dealing with, it will pass. We'll get through this. We're all in this together. We love to take a bath. Oh, so now I have physical therapy. It's Wednesday. The next one's Friday. And then I have three next week. I got some stuff to work on at home. Whoa! Ow! Oh my God, what just Ow, happened? Ow, whatever that was just landed on my knee. Are you serious? That was my cell phone. <laughs> yes! Bruh! Just landed on my knee. All right, it's now Thursday. Currently in the car. I'm not driving, don't worry. Seatbelt on. Finally changed my clothes. Finally got out of my old clothes. That felt good. I'm able to get around a little better today. I'm feeling, you know, a little more clear. All right, so what we're currently going to do, go to another physical therapy spot that's closer and get the vibe there. So I just want to make sure I'm at the right spot. I want to make sure I'm in good hands because, you know, big deal. It's my knee and I want to be able to get back to doing things I love at the best, you know, ability that I can. So we're going to this spot. I'm going to get the vibe check and and we will see, compare the two, and then go from there. You know, the first place was good. I'm not saying it wasn't at all. Then I got better shorts on for today, because yesterday they got stuck on the brace and we almost had to cut them off. Got the whole fam except Delta in the car. She's back home. She just went for a walk though. She's good. I'm getting yeah, good. an opinion over here. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that was a really good uh, meeting. I totally liked her vibe. It's hard making these decisions, you know, because it's, it's your health, it's your recovery. Want to be with the right person. I gotta think about it. It's a week anniversary, and look what we got here. Oh yeah, we're gonna go bring it to Anthony. 
Hey. How you feeling? Happy one week of, oh. a surge anniversary. It's been a week. Uh, oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Breakfast and couch. Dinner. For dinner, that's sweet time potatoes I... with roasted garlic, asparagus, gosh. steak, and cheese, and French butter. <sighs> Mama. Thank you. Let's eat together and then you can yeah. update us on your journey. It's been a week on the couch. Kelly's about to change my bandage, my cut that I don't get to see. You know, it's pretty scary. I don't get to see it. I don't get to touch it. It just freaks me out. It's just there. It's just a lot. Hey, <laughs> this is what I look forward to every day. Whee! I feel so exposed. Oh my gosh. What? Nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> The, you know, it's on like a swivel. It swiveled down and like missed your leg, but it's still like swiveled down. Oh no. I almost got the camera on his knee. Oh, Delta scared. Delta scared. We got Nick here, bass player. He's in the band. We uh, were supposed to have band practice tonight for a gig on Saturday, but I'm in so much pain, I don't think I could do all the step. Ooh, ah! It's Tuesday. I don't even know what the date is anymore. It's been a week and one day since surgery. I have clothes here that I'm gonna try and change into eventually. I gotta go to physical therapy today and I'm actually really nervous. I'd be lying if I said this last week was not that bad. It's been really emotional. Friday, for example, I had physical therapy and I did really good. My knee was like bending really far and probably pushed myself a little too much. And Saturday, which was also the first night, Friday night was the first night I slept in the bed and woke up on Saturday in agony. Basically in tears, just trying to get off the bed. Kelly was asleep next to me. I was trying not to wake her up and I just like got to the bathroom, basically broke down once I got to the couch. I couldn't even make it back to the bed. It just was a really tough day. Feeling like you're getting, you know, I felt like I had such a good positive progress on Friday and then for Saturday to wake up and feel in so much pain, like the most pain I've been in so far. And it was really embarrassing. Like I had to have Kelly bring me a bucket to pee in at one point because I just couldn't even get from the couch to the bathroom, which is like probably 25 feet, if that. I definitely cried a lot this weekend. It's just really tough. When you're in this pain, you're like, am I, how can I ever get better? This pain is so intense and like, I can't even like flex my, quad on my own like there's just so many things my leg just isn't working it's frustrating being blind and in pain kind of adds to everything because you don't have like you can't focus on visual things to like distract you so i'm just like living in the pain about to really celebrate the little wins so i made it from the couch to the bathroom it's sunday or no sunday i kind of was on the couch all day, but Monday, yesterday, I made it from the couch to the bathroom, made it to the kitchen, I ate lunch. Kelly made an amazing dinner last night. It was my first like real meal since surgery. It's just been an emotional roller coaster, you know? I thought, oh, this will be a piece of cake. Gonna do the physical therapy, how hard could it be? You just gotta do what you're told. But it's just mentally exhausting and it's draining and I'm feeling all right today. I'm feeling a little up. I gotta really lean into like the feeling good when it's here because there are struggles. There are bad times with this, but but really gotta, as hard as it is, you gotta stay positive. You gotta just focus on healing and, and know that this will pass. I think that's the biggest thing is reminding myself this will pass, but it's so hard to believe that when it's, you have so much ahead of you. All right, now I'm gonna attempt to get dressed. My biggest anxiety is getting up. Every time I get up off the couch or the bed, the blood rushes to your knee and it just starts pulsing with like its own heartbeat, like throbbing, feeling like it's gonna explode. I have to get past that like mental part of it. Just gotta get through it. I'm gonna attempt to get dressed. I got a sweatshirt, I got a long sleeve shirt, and some shorts that I'm gonna try and put on. I smell so bad. I haven't showered since the surgery. Really wish I would have the morning of. But I get the stitches out on Wednesday. That's tomorrow. Hopefully I could shower. I got my sweatshirt, my shirt on. Currently attempting. I got my pants, shorts on one foot. Here if I stand up, try and sneak my other foot in the uh I think I got this. Reach down. Got to grab this. Pull it up. I think we got this. Oh my gosh. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this. We did. It's a win, I'll take it. I'm so pissed. I think these are too tight to get up over the brace, like all the way. So. 
Sweet of him. Got you in. That was tough, but we made it. I didn't switch my shorts. Figure I'll just take them off if I have to and do physical therapy in my boxers. Made it in the car, big win. I haven't been down the stairs man, since Friday. Well, just got out of physical therapy and it went way better than I could ever hope. Got to like ask so many questions about what I was feeling and was able to do the exercises where I really didn't think I was going to be able to today. Like I had no confidence in it, but I got through it. I'm on the other side of today's physical therapy. I also met someone who's four weeks into their recovery. They were like cruising around, no crutches, and they were telling me how it's gonna get better, and it was really encouraging. You know, my cousin Faith, who's been through it, and all these other people. It was really helped. Big win, little win, celebrate them. And now I'm going to sleep the rest of the day. Back home, trying to get up these stairs. When they heard I have two flights of stairs, they were like, oh man. Oh, God. Delta! Hi! 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 Oh, I love you too. Right. So here's the stairs. I gotta go. Good foot, bad foot. Good foot, bad foot. Good foot, bad foot. Good foot, bad. Feet that are happy and feet that are sad. Now we're at the break. Let's try dangerous using a GoPro. Wall. Trying to get up the stairs on crutches. But the journey must be documented. I made it up and that ends my day for doing things today. I'm gonna go back to my little place on the couch. Maybe take a sponge bath tomorrow. Who knows? Gotta set little goals. Little goals. All right, I'm inside. Felt good, I feel accomplished. Go out and do one thing, at least. Make your day great. I'll get this vlogging down eventually. One love. GoPro, stop recording.